Hello drone community, this is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground Swim. Welcome to another week of our Drone Weekly News Roundup. All right, here's what we're going to get into today. First, another week of leaked specs, this time for the DJI Mavic 3. Uh, turns out you're going to be able to get your hands on one pretty soon, so excited to get into that story. We're also going to take a look at some new data from Drone Analyst's recent 2021 market sector report. Uh, good news for you drone pilots out there, there are job opportunities in the industry. Finally, we've got a Loch Ness monster spotting from a British outdoorsman who is documenting a canoe trip with his drone. All right, let's get into it. For over a year, we've been hearing rumors about the DJI Mavic 3, and when the leaks first started, it wasn't super clear if there even would be a uh, Mavic 3, but the latest news seems to make it pretty clear that not only are we going to see a third generation of the Mavic, but we also have the specs. According to recent leaks, the new Mavic will weigh a little over 2 pounds, or 920 grams, It'll have a max flight time of a whopping 46 minutes and fly up to 15 and a half miles per hour with no wind. It'll also come with both wide angle and telephoto lenses, so two different cameras, and it will be able to capture 5.2K video and 20 megapixel photos. It also looks like there will be two versions of the Mavic, a standard and a cine model. It looks like the standard will sell for around $1,600, but we don't have a price yet for the Cinema model. Wondering when you'll be able to buy the Mavic 3. Looks like it's actually going to hit the shelves in November, so just in time for this holiday season, and we'll keep you updated uh, with more info as, as we learn more. Next up, according to data in Drone Analyst's recent 2021 market sector report, companies are eager to hire qualified drone pilots. In fact, they can't find enough of them to fill all their open positions. Past annual reports have listed issues like access to waivers or airspace as top of mind concerns for drone service providers. But this is the first time the report has found that finding drone pilots is a top concern. So if you're a Part 107 certified drone pilot, there might be companies chomping at the bit to hire you right now. We're constantly posting new job opportunities in our weekly newsletter. If you're not yet subscribed to that, we'll link to it below. Okay, lastly, a British man on a charity paddling trip may have captured drone footage of the Loch Ness Monster. Richard Maver didn't even notice the giant underwater shape when he first posted the footage to his YouTube account, which was mysteriously <laughs> removed. It was only when someone commented, four minutes, water's edge, the ripples look like Nessie, that he began looking into it. He was skeptical at first, but the more he reviewed the footage, the more he couldn't find another explanation for what he was seeing. Could he have captured proof of the Loch Ness Monster's existence? Let us know what you think in the comments below. All right, folks, that's all we've got for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest drone news. Remember to check out the links below to read more. Thanks for watching, as always, and to all of you drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying.